last night on the uh, last night's live stream. So if you are watching tonight today's live stream make sure you check out yesterday's live stream where i was talking about the uh rfk assassination and specifically the conspiracy theory manchurian candidate theory um it's pretty it was a pretty interesting live stream i, I hope you enjoy it anyways what are you here for today we are gonna i just got out of the movie theater which is right over there and watched a24's civil war so i'm going to give you a very brief uh spoiler free review uh, Angie, it's good to see you. How are you doing today? Uh, so I wanted to go live as soon as I came out of the theater to give you the most fresh review that, you, that you're that you going to possibly get. Uh, the only thing that I could have done to be more fresh than this was to bring my camera into the theater, which of course is not allowed. So first thing, again, I'm not going to go into any spoils, spoilers here. If I start to go into that territory, I'll warn you so you can jump off the stream or whatever. First thing you need to know is that uh, in a, I want to give my personal opinion here, in a world where most movie studios are not taking good risks, where most movie studios are just rehashing uh, the same old stuff, you know, doing um, remakes of some of our favorite movies from the past or sequels, uh, they're just, they seem to be, most of Hollywood is risk averse. If A24 is a studio that is willing to try some new ideas and is willing to take some risks, and for that, I think we should applaud that and reward that with buying movie ticket purchases if you're a movie fan. Now, next thing is A24 Civil, A24 Civil War is uh, going to be very, very different than what you're expecting, okay? So the way that it's been shown on trailers and commercials, uh, I went in expecting a very certain type of movie and that, and I got a very different experience, okay? To get uh, a little bit more specific, you are, if you went in like with questions like I did, like, well, how in the world did this so-called American Civil War start? And why in the world are California and Texas uh, uniting because that doesn't seem like that would be something that would happen in our lifetime because they're so different. Those answers are not going to be given to you. Um, there's very, very little explanation about what started this civil war. Okay, so it's and and really the movie is not so much about the civil war or the politics of this civil war as it is about the wartime press. Okay, so war journalists, if you know what I mean by that, these are the journalists that get that follow around uh wars and, and conflicts and things like that to try to document it and it is a very interesting profession um i know people in the journalism field and like they're the people who do the wartime journalism are a very special breed of people they tend to be uh adrenaline junkies and make no mistake they they tend to pick up some of their own trauma just because of some of the crazy stuff that they'll see so this movie is more about following around four wartime journalists okay and that is lee played by kirsten dunst joel played by wagna mora uh jesse played by kaylee spaney and sammy played by stephen mckinney henderson now let's break this down i'm going to give you my grades on what i thought of all of these things starting with acting the uh the acting in this was solid uh, all four of the main characters I thought did a great job and I don't want to get too I don't want to get too spoilery here but uh it's it's about what war journalism does to them and their re and also their relationships and a little bit of character growth that happens within this okay that's as much as I can say without ruining things for you so on a grading scale what what would I give this uh, I would honestly I'd give the the acting for all four of these actors a solid B plus, a solid B plus. Was there anything here that they're gonna get nominated for like an Academy Award? I don't think so, but there's nothing wrong with it. it it's the acting is very good, if not better than good, okay? Now, next thing is sound. Now I saw this in the extreme, uh, the extreme sound theater, right? So like this is a special enhanced version of this. And if you don't have like surround sound at home and you really want to see this film in the theater and have that experience, I would say go ahead and spend a couple extra dollars and get that extreme sound experience if you uh, if you if, if you have that available in your area. The without again without getting into too many spoilers, the this the sound on this I would give a solid A. It probably is worthy of some award nominations for uh, sound design. And uh, the director, 
mixes. The, the way they use sound is really good. There's moments of silence that are interrupted by explosions and uh, gunfire, and it's used in very dramatic ways. If you're somebody who has war combat experience and have a little bit of trauma symptoms, you need to be aware of that because it's potentially a trigger. I'm not saying don't go see it, just be aware of what you could be walking into. There was definitely a couple times in there, now I'm not a soldier, but there's a couple times in there where I had like some jump scares because of the way that sound is used. Nothing that was too bad, just like, you know, kind of a little startle in your seat. Um, music. Music was actually really nice. Well, it was well, uh, the pieces that were put together definitely match the scenes in a great way. Um, most of the music I had not heard before and it's used very, very creatively with the scenes to enhance the drama of certain scenes. I'm gonna go ahead and give the music on this a solid B plus as well. Uh, cinematography. Now the cinema, this is another one that like, if you don't have a really nice 4k screen at home, you might want to go see this in the big screen. If you're, if you're, again, if you're a fan of film, uh, the, the cinematography again, without getting too spoilery, there's moments in there where, uh, if I say beautifully horrific, right? You, you, if you watch a lot of war films and, and things like that, you should know what I mean. Beautifully horrific. Uh, and it's done in a really great artistic way okay now there's the only way i can describe it is beautifully horrific right so uh to give you an example if you've watched hunger games and in that scene the very the first hunger games in that scene where they come up into the arena the combat arena uh the cornucopia there and the way that that scene is filmed to enhance the drama and intensity of it, or maybe some scenes even from like Saving Private Ryan and some of those other movies that uh, have like that kind of intense combat experience. Uh, definitely do, they do a great job with this. And um, there's some beautiful soft moments to it too, uh, which I think also enhances the, the drama of this movie, right? So again, I can't get into specifics. Um, so cinematography, I'm going to say A- minus and possibly worthy of an award nomination there, okay? Again, A24 Studios, you did a fantastic job with this movie. Definitely wasn't what I expected, but I enjoyed it. Even though I went in expecting something totally different and got a different product than I thought I was buying, I was, I was very satisfied with the product. I've um, got a couple more little points here. Stay with me. So overall plot story themes so um again it's if you're going thinking like this is going to be a movie about like how this civil war started and the politics of it and things like that you're not going to get that hey music walks good to see you, my friend you're not going to get that you're getting a story about wartime journalists and the setting is during an american civil war okay um so just be aware. I think a lot of people are going in there thinking that they're getting like something like that. And it, it, you're going to get a different experience than what you're thinking. That being said, the story was really good. Really good. Um, it definitely had me sitting there after the credits rolled for a few minutes to uh, just kind of process everything that uh, had happened. Again, can't give you spoilers here. But uh, it's a movie that's going to have me thinking for a while, if you will. And definitely had some emotional impact to it. Um, speaking of which, there is no end credit scenes. It's not a Marvel movie, but there's an end credit photo. So stay for just a couple minutes in your seat till that rolls through. You want you want to see that? It's kind of an interesting little another little emotional piece to it. Um, the uh, will they do anything else with this? I don't know. I don't really think that's like A24's kind of thing to do like a sequel or prequel. Uh, there's possibility that that could happen. And if they did, I actually think they'd be better off to do a prequel type movie to tell that story that many of us were hoping to get, which was how did this all get started? How in the heck would California and uh, Texas become allies? Um, I think there's a story that could be told there if they decide to do that, but maybe they want this to be a one and done and that's okay. It is a really good story for what it is. Um, yeah, that's, that's the best that I can say for that. So a couple final thoughts, and then I'm going to call this one and, and uh, start to head home. Uh, this is a prepping channel, right? So what takeaways do we have for preppers with this? Well, my personal opinion is that, um, yes, I think we are, we could possibly have 
a second American Civil War. I hope not. I hope it never does. And I, I don't understand some of the prepping channels. You know, they say, well, you better strap up, son, because it's time to take back our country. So like that. I don't think like that. But I'm a healer by trade. I'm a therapist by trade. Uh, and so obviously that that affects my personality. Uh, and obviously I always looking for peaceful solutions to problems, but we are very divided as a country. And I think this is possible that this could happen. And ironically, coming out of a movie that's about the press, uh, I, I feel like that the press in America is one of the reasons why we're so divided because the way they, uh, they taint stories in a spin that turns us against each other. Okay. I've talked about this many, many times on my, on my channel where I think that you know, we're being groomed to, hey, Jay, it's good to see you, brother. Uh, we're being groomed to hate our neighbors. And I've talked about this. I'm going to get a little preachy here. So if you're, if you're done with my review, it's okay. If you don't want to hear this, but that, if you're part of my channel, you're going to know what I'm talking about already. We're being groomed to hate your neighbors. You're being groomed to hate those Zoomers that are have blue hair and act a little different than you. Or if you're a Zoomer, you're being groomed to hate the boomers um, because they act a little different than you, or you're being groomed to hate your neighbor for having a different skin color than you, or the person who worships at uh, a temple or a mosque instead of a church, right? Like all this stuff is just spun up. And most of the damage, in my opinion, is comes from the media that just works this conflict against e each other. <laughs> hey, hey, Jay, I saw your comment. Uh, that works this conflict of us against each other, right? And I've talked to you on other streams why I think like, your neighbor's not the problem here, folks. Your neighbor's not the problem. And I'm not necessarily saying that the press is the problem. I'm saying that the press contributes to the problem, okay? So who is the problem? Well, I think it's people in power that are doing unethical stuff at the very highest level of power. Uh, and they don't want you to know the things that they do. And so they keep, one of the ways that they do that is to keep you divided against each other. This is why you're, you have used these echo chambers on social media and you are finding people who you think just like you. But the best thing you could do is to engage with other people who don't think just like you. Keep an open mind, talk to them, hear their story. You don't have to agree, but just listen to people and hear them out and, um, maybe you realize that sometimes they're not that different than you, right? I know I'm getting a little soapboxy here anyways. Um, so that's that's thing one. Thing two, obviously, what, what are some lessons that we could take away from this? Well, uh, I would say, you know, seeing that if we don't have... Um, so, Jay, to answer your question, if you are somebody who likes movies on the big screen and you want that sound experience and you want that like high resolution experience then yeah go see it in the theater if you don't need that and you're just curious about the film you could wait till it comes out on streaming um but it's not it's not the movie that people think it is it's mostly about the the war press uh it's you're, you're gonna walk away with a lot of unanswered questions unfortunately but i think that's by design i think the point of a24's movie was it doesn't matter what started it because it's not about that. It's about uh, exactly music walk. Exactly. It's not about that. This movie's about the war press. Okay. Um, but there's another story that could be told there. That's that's my thought. Um, so as preppers, what are some other little takeaways here? Obviously, you know, we know that conflict could happen, whether it be from enemies, foreign or domestic, right? So it's a good idea to keep stacking up on your supplies. Uh, in the United States, we're blessed that we're a country where you can buy body armor. So why shouldn't you? You you know, you have a right to own that. It's not a bad idea. Uh, sorry, a car's driving really close to me. Oh, he's, it's, it's just a guy trying to park. He's going to probably pull up right next to me. Uh, so, you know, you, you can buy body armor. You can buy things to defend yourself. My personal feeling is that maybe you should think about that. You should really buy way more first aid supplies than you than you think you're going to need. Way more. You should be stockpiling much more medicine than you think you need. Because if anything goes on, whether it be foreign enemies or domestic enemies, it's probably going to be a prolonged conflict. If nothing big like that happens, then we know more civil unrest is going to happen for sure. Guaranteed. There's no doubt in anyone's mind that we're getting more civil unrest probably the closer we get to this election. Um, you're also going to have more supply chain disruptions. And especially as our tensions with other nations continue to heat up due to uh, bad leadership 
by both nations, uh, then there's more supply chain issues that are going to happen. Get what you need while you can. But as you know, we always say on this channel, don't overspend your budget. Don't blow up your credit card. Make a budget, make a plan, get your supplies, get what you need, okay? So I think, you know, is it is it a movie that preppers must see? No. Is it a movie that you would enjoy? Um, yes, but it's not what you think it is. It's not what the commercials led me to believe, at least. Okay? Um, I had one more final thought. See if it comes back to me. Um, yeah, I lost it. Anyways, what would I get? Overall score, let's go our overall grade. I'm going to go ahead and give this one an A-, minus, even though it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Uh, it was drastically different from what I thought it was going to be. Actually, I really did enjoy it. I'll probably watch it again. Uh, Mrs. Sarge did not go with me. Um, I actually think she would like this one because uh, when we were in school together, she was studying journalism. So I think that she's going to find this particularly, inter particularly interesting. Um, there you go. That That's a good choice right there, Jay Creature. Uh, but yeah, good, good movie. And um, I, I enjoyed it. I definitely will watch again. Uh, I'm going to give it an A- minus for my final grade, uh, but I just want people to be aware that it's it, what you think it is, or at least how it's been talked about in the prepper and survivalist communities, it's not what you're getting. You're getting something very, very different, and it's okay. Um, Oh, I remembered what the last point was. Got it. So if you are somebody who likes uh, realistic war movies, if you if you want to see like that war action, you may be a little bit bored and disappointed, but stay to the end of the film. Your patience will be rewarded. Uh, without spoiling anything, the climax is going to give you that uh, adrenaline rush that you're probably looking for. So uh, you're not going to get it through most of the film. You get a little couple little spots. But the ending is going to give you what you probably came there for if that's the type of movie that you're looking for, okay? All right, folks, I got to roll out. I hope this spoiler-free review was helpful for you. Uh, if you leave comments down below in the description, uh, if you leave comments down below in the comment section, just if you've seen the movie, please don't put any spoilers in there. I will have to delete your, com your uh, comment just to protect people uh, at least for a couple weeks here, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I, I didn't, I didn't spoil anything here other than to tell you that, uh, it's not the movie you think it is, okay? All right, everybody, yeah, stay strong for you too, brother. Keep planting your seeds, keep stacking your silver. This is Prepping with Sarge.